I spent hours trying to make this Blaziken moveset work in singles, and I finally did it. Blaziken has fell off a bit since Gen 8, but I'm going to prove it can still be a massive threat with the top dogs of competitive Pokemon. We use a similar strategy to the Lucario one we used a little while back, only this time we slap upper hand on it to block and flinch priority moves. Sounds great on paper, hard to pull off though. Our first battle is against Combo King from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord and let me tell you, it's an amazing game. Will we be able to pull off the upper hand strat in this game though? Stick around till the end for a rental code of the team and without further ado, I present to you the Blaziken video. And the battle begins, good luck have fun Combo King. So they're gonna lead off with Toxapex, which I led off with my Ribombe, so not a bad lead, not the best lead in the world either. I want to get sticky webs up straight away, so I am going to do that. We go for the sticky webs, which is great. And Hisuian Bravio, we need to get rid of the Toxapex. If we get rid of the Toxapex, Blaze can do some work. So they go for a Poison Jab, which is interesting. Um, just uh, no damage. We're going to Stun Spore it now, just to be annoying. There we go. Stun Spore actually connects, which is nice. And we paralyze the Toxapex, which is great. So we let Ribombe go down to a, a, a Poison Jab here. They go for a Toxic Spikes. Interesting. So Toxic Spikes comes through. Now, if I go into our Hisuian Braviary here, we should be all right, right? So I'm going to go Hisuian Braviary, and I'm going to try and whack this thing with a Psychic. I, I think they stay in and try and take the Psychic, but at the same time, I don't. So we withdraw with Rib Bombay, and we go straight into our Braviary King over here. Um, Toxpex couldn't move because it was fully paralyzed, which is unfortunate for them. But you know what? We ball him. We're going for a Psychic because I feel like they go into Gudra here. They withdraw the Toxapex to save it for another day. That's fine. Um, we need to get to the point where they can't withdraw the Toxapex without sacking off another Mon. So they go Gudra. Gudra's a fine play, I will say. Gets caught in the sticky webs, which is great. Um, we go for a Psychic. Let's see how much damage it does to the uh, Hisuian Gudra. Life Orb, Sheer, Sheer Force Boosters. That's not bad like, damage, to be fair. Not bad. Um, we now have to go into our Iron Treads to get rid of these Toxic Spikes. King, come on back. Let's go into good old Iron Treads real quick. To take a potential Draco Meteor or a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt being the best situation. Not breaking our Air Balloon. Um, we float in the air, obviously. They go for a Draco Meteor, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. There's about nearly half. Not too much damage. And the Air Balloon does pop. So we now go for a Rapid Spin 100% of the time here. They may stay in expecting the Rapid Spin and go for an Iron Defense. If they do, that's a good play. They withdraw the Gudra, not wanting to take a Rapid Spin, obviously, and they must not have Iron Defense. Um, they go into Rotom. Rotom's a good play. We went straight for the uh, Rapid Spin to get rid of those Toxic Spikes, and now we outspeed the Rotom as well, even if they're Choice Scarf. So if we have Stone Edge, we could potentially KO them. We don't have Stone Edge, though, um, so that's not really an option. So I want to get the Stealth Rocks up. I really do. I really want to get Stealth Rocks up, but I don't want to lose my Iron Treads here. But they have leftovers, so they're probably going to burn something. So I'm tempted to sack off um, Ribombe. So I think I will sack off Ribombe here. Because at the end of the day, looking at their team, it's not exactly fast, fast. Like now that I know this thing's not Choice Scarf, I know the team's not very fast. So Sticky Webs aren't super important. But Stealth Rocks later might be. So they go for a Will O Wisp as expected. It's going to burn my Ribombe, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Maybe we could have gone into Blaziken there. But it's a bit early for Blaziken. They still have that Toxapex lying around. And I want to try and catch that Crawdon. I want I wanted to go for an Aqua Jet on us. And we go for upper hand and KO them. That's what I want to happen. So now we uh, we just go for a Moonblast. We just go for a Moonblast, get some damage off on something. I think that's going to be useful. They withdraw the Rotom, not wanting to get by a Moonblast, which makes sense, I guess. Even though they can take the Moonblast pretty well. And they go into Toxapex. Toxapex a fine switch. Nice and shiny. Got all of it. Gets caught in the sticky webs, of course, making it really slow, as well as paralysis. Its speed is practically zero right now. We go for a Moonblast, a bit of chip damage, um, revealing they have got the Black Sludge, which is good. That, that tells me they won't Terror this thing as well, because if you have Black Sludge and you Terror into a different type that's not Poison, then it'll damage you, which is why it's, it's a good way of knowing. Um, so anyway, what, what do we do here? I say we go Hisuian Braviary again. I'm going to go into the Braviary because... Damage on that Gudra is still damage nonetheless. You know? So we'll go into King. And this time, I think they'll predict the Psychic and they'll go for a Crawdon switch. And I want to scare them. I really want to scare them. But at the same time, I don't. Uh, I, I, if, if that Crawdon's Sash, I want to break the Sash. So I'm going to go for an Air Slash here. 
If they stay in and we could have gone for a sidekick, I'm going to be mad. They withdraw the Toxapex. Are they going to go Crawdon this time? Gudra comes in. There's no reason for them not to go Gudra, to be fair. I should have probably realized that. And they are hurt by the Sticky Webs, which is great. Now, they probably go for a Body Press or a Fire Blast, expecting the Iron Treads to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sack off Ribombe here. So I can get a free switch in with Iron Treads. That's what I want to do. So we withdraw King and we go into Scarves, the Ribombe, just to sack it off. They might go for a Draco again, they might not. Um, they do go for a Draco though, that's going to not do anything. We're already burned so we don't get poisoned either, which is nice. So we don't get taken out by the poison this turn. I think poison would have taken us out there. Um, now we go for... Let's go... Let's, if we expect, you know, let's go for a Moonblast. Uh, Moonblast should be able to do a decent bit of chip damage to it. There we go, a bit of chip. They go for a Flash Cannon, and that's going to take us out, so that's fine. Now, if we go into Iron Treads, we can just Rapid Spin away. So we go into Iron Treads. We 100% go into Iron Treads here to Rapid Spin these Toxic Spikes. Which aren't going to affect us, so we go for a Rapid Spin real quick. They may stay in here. They don't know. They're going to withdraw. Are they going into Rotom or are they going Great Tusk? Great Tusk comes in. That's a great play. So Great Tusk comes in. Gets caught in the sticky webs. Which is fine. We then go for a rapid spin. Which does no damage, obviously. But we get rid of them toxic spikes. They get some Rocky Helmet chip as well, which is good to know. Good to know the Rocky Helmet because we need to knock that thing off. So I'm going to knock off right now. Because if we're going to do this with Blaziken, we can't have Rocky Helmet. So we get rid of the Rocky Helmet. Which is great. They look like they're physically defensive. They go for a rapid spin of their own. We still outspeed though. So they more than likely, because they got rid of the sticky webs. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Rock now to break that crawl on Sash. Potential Sash. Stealth Rock comes through. They probably they might go for a rapid spin against Chaos to get the speed boost. To be fair, if they do, that's a good play. They go for a knockoff, though. That's going to take us out. So, Stealth Rocks could be up to stay if we can get rid of this Great Tusk this turn. I think what we need to do is go into Braviary. Because I think this is a defensive Great Tusk, in which case we outspeed. So, I'm going to go into Braviary. And Gudra is becoming less and less of a viable switch in thanks to the chip damage we've got on it. So, now, I could go for an Air Slash to KO this thing, or I can go for a Psychic. I'm leaning towards the Air Slash just in case Crawdon comes in. So I'm going to go for the Air Slash. They withdraw the Great Tusk. Are they going to go Gudra again? That is the question. Gudra comes in. Fine. Gudra can come in all at once. He gets some Stealth Rock Chip, which is nice. And we go straight for the Air Slash here, which is going to be great. So Air Slash comes through. No damage, but damage it still, if you know what I mean. Um, so now, now we go Aloma Malola. No, do we? Do we all go, go, do we go Blaziken? I think we stay in. No, because this is our only way of defeating that great tusk, pretty much. Um, and the Toxapex. We need to get rid of the Toxapex. Let's go into Aloma Mola, and then we'll flip turn. We'll go Aloma Mola, and then we'll flip turn, because it baits in the Electivire or the Rotom. Or the Toxapex. The Draco is going to do about half. Yep, just, about, uh, just over half, actually. Which is fine. We then go for a flip turn here. They go for another Draco, which won't take us out. Which is great. As it means we can go for a flip turn now. And we can go into Blaziken. And the reason we'll go to Blaziken here is to bait out that Toxapex. So I'm going to go into Blaziken right now. Or do I go Dragonite? Dragonite's a good bait as well. Dragonite baits in the Great Tusk though. Which we don't want to see. We could Dragonite, uh, Dragon Nant, Extreme Speed. I think we're going to Dragonite. I think they have to use Toxapex to uh, weaken Dragonite. I think that's what they have to do. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Nance here because I know I can take a Drake and Meteor, no problem. And we could be weakness policy, so they might not go for it. We go for a Dragon Nance. They do, in fact, stay in and tell me they may have Dragon Tail. So we Dragon Nance. Like so. They go for a Dragon Tail. So they are Dragon Tail. They break on multi scale. Now, if we get sent out into Blaziken here, we just fire punch this thing in the face. We get sent out into Blaziken, which is great. So we, we got the lucky one, which is great. We've got no hazards to break anything. We go for a fire punch, and that should take out the Gudra from there. Fire punch comes through. Gudra goes down. They had to do that because basically Gudra, they have no switch into Gudra. They have no switch into Blaziken. Uh, well, Gudra can't switch into the Braviary again. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it's at the end of its life, pretty much. Electivire comes in. Okay, Electivire is a good one. It's nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. And um, they get some stones digging into them. 
They float in the air of their air balloon as well. Um, we, we, we're a bit stuck for I'm a bit stuck for what to do here. So I'm leaning towards them going for a trailblazer or a bulk up. So I'm going to go into Alomomola. Um, just expecting... Because if they go for a Supercell Slam and take us out, that's, that's fine. Alomomola can go down here. I don't mind Alomomola going down. We do need it to win the game. What we need is... Uh, they go for a Supercell Slam, so that's fine. So Supercell Slam is fine. They get hit by the Rocky Helmet, which is great. Palindrome goes down. Now, we go into... Uh, hmm... We're going to Dragonite because I think I don't think they have Ice Punch. I don't think Ice Punch KOs us. Because they're not Life Orb. Or were they Life Orb? I can't remember. Alright, well, we go for an extreme speed here. And they, they might go Toxapex. They withdraw the Electivire. Are they gonna go to the Toxapex or are they gonna go Great Tusk? Rotom. Rotom's a good one as well. Rotom's a very good switch. It's gonna get some stealth rock damage, which is nice. We go for an extreme speed. It if they're not physically defensive, it should two shot them, right? It does. And the great thing is, they're not, especially, they must be defensive because they've got leftovers. So we should be able to outspeed them this next turn and go for a Dragon Claw, right? So let's go for the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw comes through, cleanly takes out the Rotom. So that's Rotom taken care of. Now, like I said, we need to see the Toxapex come in and we need to KO the Toxapex somehow, or at least get it down low enough. Toxapex does come in, which is nice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we use this as setup bait, so we go for a uh, Dragon Dance real quick. I don't want to sell Toxic Spikes though. I say we go into Braviary. I think Braviary is the way to go. They're probably going to get free Toxic Spikes here, but they, they don't, they, you know, they haven't seen the Ice Spinner, I don't think. So we could pressure them with the Earthquake to go for a Toxic here. And um, they go for a Poison Jab, which is fine. I can take that, no problem. As long as they don't get the Toxic Spikes up, I'm happy. And looking at their team, I would say their best bet is to let the Toxic Spikes go down because nothing can switch in. So I'm going to go for a Psychic here. Just expecting that. Psychic comes through. We take out the Toxapex. Now that's great. That's great. Because there was no chance it was living that. No chance it was living a Life Orb, Sheer Force, um, Psychic. So now it's time for Blaziken. And I want to see what they're going to go into here. Prawdon comes in. That's a good one. We break the Sash with the Stealth Rocks. They go ahead and go for what exactly? I I, I say we stay. I say just to stop it from going for a cell move. Uh, no, we don't. We don't stay in. We go into Dragonite. We go into Dragonite and we extreme speed. So we withdraw Braviary. We go into Dragonite. Hopefully to get to KO by a knockoff right now. That's what I'm hoping for. They go for a knockoff. It's adaptability boosted. No way we're living that. No way we're living that. So now is the time. Now is the time. Okay. For Blaziken to come in. Their life form not focused Sash, so that's good to know. We go Blaziken. We endure. Come on, we've got two minutes left. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we've got the timer against us. Let's go for an endure. So we go for an endure, which is great. Hopefully they go for an Aqua Jet here. That'd be nice. They go for the Aqua Jet. That's going to take us right down. Yep, there we go. Critical hit and all that stuff. The battle ends in 60 seconds. Uh, why? 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 Why is, this, why is the timer so crap? As long as I can pull off upper hand here, I'm happy. So we get the attack boost from the Lechi Berry, which is great. I want to see that Great Tusk go down. We get the speed boost. And they're probably thinking, damn, he didn't realize I had Aqua Jet. Let's go for an upper hand. Upper hand comes through. Takes out the Crawdon, which is fantastic. Crawdon goes down. Upper hand came through. Oh, wow. So after all this time, finally, I've got this done. Finally, I've got a bla Blaze Combat where upper hand actually came in clutch. They go Great Tusk. This is not a good day for you, sir. Pick your move. Because this Great Tusk is defensive. So I'm going to Terra Fighting Reversal and show off the pure power of Blaziken right now. We Terra Fighting. We Terra Fighting. And we go for the Reversal. We've got five seconds left. Three, four, three, two, one. Boom. The battle has ended, but we still get to go for our attack. Reversal comes through. Terra Fighting at one HP with a Lychee Berry. Great Tusk goes down. And then we know how it ended with Electivire. Electivire goes down to the reversal as well. Thank you. Do you know how long I've been doing these battles with Blaziken trying to get the upper hand thing to work? And it finally comes in clutch against a, a Crawdont. Huh. Electivire comes in and we know how this ends. I go for a reversal and KO this thing unless you have quick attack. So let's go for the reversal. Time has run out. The battle's over. GG Combo King, thank you so much. 
for the battle. I'm so glad we got the uh, <laughs> go for hand to work. That's so situational, but it really worked out well for us there. GG. What an intense battle. I found out in the end from the Discord that Crawdon could have Terra Fairied, but as they didn't expect the upper hand, they didn't feel the need. Amazing. Our next game is against Dr. Banana Man from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and it's another brilliant game where Blaziken shines. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Dr. Banana Man. So they're going to lead off with Basque Legion as I led off with my Ribombe. So first thing I want to do is obviously get up the Sticky Webs, but the Sticky Webs aren't as helpful to me as getting a Stun Spore off on this thing. That's for sure. So I'm going to go for a Stun Spore real quick to par paralyze this thing. We do miss, which is really unfortunate, um, but it is a low accuracy move. They go for a Confuse Ray, which is really going to throw me off. Um, so my Ribombe is kind of stuck in this position where it can't really do anything. So they more than likely switch into the Decidueye here. So I'm going to go for a Sticky Webs instead. Um, they do actually stay in though. Let's see what they go for. Let's see if we can break through Confusion for starts. We can't break through Confusion as we're going to lose our Ribombe to a Surf or something right now. As they go for a Shadow Ball, that's Adaptability boosted, right? So that's going to take us out, right? No, it doesn't take us out. So we can still get a Sticky Web off, which is nice. So let's go for a Sticky Web once again. We snap out Confusion, which is nice. We go for a Sticky Web to get them up. Um, because they have got the Taurus, which is pretty fast. And they've got the Basket Legion, which, if it's, which it can be fast, um, etc. And they could be Scarf on anything, really. The Cla Claurus could be scarfed, etc. So the Fletchinger is one that I'm looking out for. Because it'll be if I like Fletchinger, which is really... Really, really interesting. So, um, what do we do here? That's the real question. I'm leaning towards the Aloma Malola or Iron Treads. I think I'm going to go Iron Treads and go for a clean knockoff. I think that's the way to go forward. So, we'll float in the air on our air balloon. Not that it really matters. And uh, we'll go straight for a knockoff. It should do a lot of damage. So, let's go for the knockoff real quick, like so. Nearly KO the Basque Legion, which is amazing. We knock off their Focus Sash. Is their Focus Sash? Really interesting. They go for a Surf, though. That's going to KO out the Iron Treads, no doubt. Yep, clean KO. Clean KO, which is really unfortunate. So, Burnout goes down. But you know what? We're in a very good position right now. And let me tell you why. So, we could, if we want to go to Hissuian Braviary, we could Terra Fairy and Agility. That's an option. Or we can go into Dragonite. I'm, I'm going to go Dragonite because I know it outspeeds. I know Dragonite outspeeds. We can go for a Dragon Claw, take this thing out. So, there we go. Dragon Claw comes through. Um, yes, we go for a Dragon Claw here 100% of the time. So they're going to Terrastalize. Please don't be Fairy. If they're Fairy, that's going to be annoying. If they're Fairy, that's going to be annoying. They are Fairy. Oh, are you kidding me? They're going to get that Adaptability as well on the Terra Blast, which is going to KO us. If they have got Terra Blast. So Ice Beam comes through. That's not Terra. We have got the Multi-Scale, so we do live, which is nice. As we go for the Dragon Claw, and that's going to fail miserably. So the fact that we outsped us means they are max speed as well. Um, but I can just go for the extreme speed now and finish this thing off. So there we go. Extreme speed comes through. Basque Legion is going to go down. Finally. So the, we had a bit of a problem with the Basque Legion. Ribombe went down. Iron Treads went down after knocking it off. Um, so we don't get Stealth Rocks, unfortunately. Claw Edsa comes in. Which is fine. It's going to get some sticky web shenanigans going on. Um, which is great and all. But we, we don't really have a good switch in here other than Loma Mola. So I'm going to go into Loma Mola. Like so. We'll withdraw nightly. We'll go into the Aloma Lola, expecting an Ice Beam here or a Dragon Pulse, at worst case scenario. And um, they do go for a Dark Pulse, though, expecting maybe this to come in on the Braviary, but no, 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 no. That does way too much damage. I have got Special Defense Investment as well. That does way too much damage. Let's go for a Flip Turn just in case, but they actually go. Uh, we outspeed them because of the Sticky Webs, which means something's going to have to take this. Uh... I think it's time for Blaziken, personally. I think Blaziken's time to shine. Let's go into Blaziken. Because I know we can take a Dark Pulse, no problem. So we'll go Blaziken, like so. They go for a Dark Pulse, which is fine. Gonna do over half. We go for a Endure here. 100% of the time we go for an Endure. They withdraw the Claw, it's there. What are they gonna go into? Tauros, to get that Intimidate off? Makes sense if they do. I still think we can pull this back. So Intimidate comes, comes through. And um, we go for the Endure, which isn't going to work, obviously. And um, we do get the Speed Boost, though, which is great. They are probably expecting a Thunder Punch or something as well. Um, so I'm going to go back into Aloma Mola, because Aloma Mola can wall this thing to Oblivion. And then we'll just go for another Flip Turn. Get a Regenerator back. That's going to be nice. So Palindrome comes in. Like so. They go for a Close Combat. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. There we go. We, we take that like a champ. And we've got the Rocky Helmet as well. 
Um, so we're going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip on them. They basically have to switch out at this point because Scald will probably take them out. So I'm going to go for a flip turn here. They withdraw, which is great. What are they going to go into? Probably Claw It's there, right? Yeah, Claw It's there comes in. Like so. Gets caught in the sticky webs, which is great. Uh, I'm looking at the team. I'm not seeing a potential... I'm not seeing a potential... Uh, if we can get rid of the Decidueye, I think we'll be all right. Because we can't upper hand the Decidueye. That's the problem. I think our best bet is to go Braviary here because of the sticky webs we outspeed anyway. And they haven't really got to switch into a Psychic. So we get a KO here with Braviary. So let's go for a Psychic. Because this Chloris is definitely specs by that damage, by that Dark Pulse damage. It's definitely specs. As it goes down to a Psychic Critical hit, I don't think the crit mattered because we are on Life Orb Sheer Force. Decidueye comes in. That's a good switch. It's flying. It's flying. That's awesome. Gets caught in the sticky webs for some reason. Uh, even though it's flying. Whatever. Um, is Air Slash or Heat Wave better? I think Air Slash is better here. So I'm going to go for the Air Slash. It's Sheer Force Life Orb boosted. Nearly gets the KO, which is amazing. There you go for that Spirit Shackle. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage. Takes us cleanly out, to be fair. So down goes Braviary, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now we're just going to Blaziken, I believe. We just go Blaziken. No, are we going to Dragonite? Are we going to Dragonite? We'll go Dragonite. Uh, Dragonite is probably the better option because it gives us Dragon Claw. I, I, want, I want to get rid of the Decidueye, so I want them to be in a position where they can't really switch out. Um, so I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw here because it'll hurt the Taurus if they bring that in. But they go for a Shadow Sneak anyway, which isn't going to take us out. As we go for a Dragon Claw and take out the Decidueye. So that's the Decidueye out of the way. Because here's the thing, we can't upper hand the Decidueye. So even though they were for Shadow Sneak, we can't upper hand it because it's a fighting type move. But now that it's gone, we're in a decent position. So Fletchinder comes in. We are going to go straight for the... I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed because I'm expecting an Acrobatics here. And um, we do get the we do see a roost, which is fine. Roost comes through. I'm gonna keep going for the extreme speed because I don't want it to get healed up. I really don't want it to be healed up. That's that's the last thing I need. Tailwind. Ah, oh, that's not good. Tailwind is not good. Let's go for a dragon claw. Um, they go for another roost. Dragon claw is gonna do a bit more damage than the extreme speed would. And at this point, it's like I may as well. So dragon claw comes through. Bit more damage. They do get the flame body this time now. Which is fine. Flame body comes through. Um, they probably go for another roost at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch out into a Loma Mola. I want to get a KO on this thing. I really want to get a KO on this thing with Scald. I think that's the way to go. And then well, let Blaze can finish off the rest of the team maybe. I don't know. Um, they go for a protect. That's fine. Stolen out your own tailwind at that point. Let's go for a scold. They go for a roost to scout, which is fine. Seeing what we're going to do. And we 100% go for keep going for scolds here, though, because we have more scold PP than they have roost PP. So um, they can't really switch out either because Tauros won't appreciate it. And if we get the burn on the Braviary, it's like all over for the Braviary. So a uh, tailwind comes through. It's going to double the speed of their Pokemon. Scold comes through. Does a nice bit of damage to Fletchinder, which is great. So let's keep going for scolds. They withdraw the Fletchinder. They're going to risk the Braviary, probably. Braviary comes in. They're going to risk getting burned on the Braviary, which is fine. We go for a Scold. Can we get the burn? Not yet, but we, we can live a hit from this thing, no problem. So they go for a Body Slam. They are life. They must be life up sheer force by that. Ooh, wow, that did some damage. But we get the Rocky Helmet, and then we get the Scold off. Can we get a burn? That'd be nice. We do get the burn, which is fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do here is, because this Braviary is obviously a threat right now, the Fletchinger on the other hand is weakened. So I feel pretty confident switching out into Dragonite to sack it off. So I'm going to switch into Dragonite to sack it off. I don't think we need Dragonite anymore. They've got three Pokemon remaining. They've got a Fletchinder that's weakened. They've got this thing, and they've got Tauros in the back. Body Slam comes through. That's going to take us out. So that's fine. That is fine. They're going to get hit by the burn, which is great. And uh, we definitely go into our Blaziken here. We definitely go into our Blaziken here. We could predict the... They, they might predict the Thunder Punch and not go into Fletchinder here, which would be nice. But I'm hoping they just stay in an attack here. So I'm going to go for an Endure. Endure comes through. Hopefully they stay in an attack. That would be ideal. 
They go for the Brave Bird. That's going to take us down to our Endure. Yep, there we go. And it also gets some recoil on them as well, which is nice. So let's see if after we get the Lychee Berry too. Just, just to let you know, we get the Lychee Berry as well. So Lychee Berry pops, boosting our already high attack. And then we get a speed boost this turn as well. There is officially nothing that wants to switch in on this Blaziken right now. There's nothing that wants to switch on the Blaziken. So let's go for the reversal. Reversal comes through. Takes out the Braviary, which is fantastic. So with Braviary out of there, we have Tauros and we have got a Fletchinder to deal with. Tauros comes in. Tauros does not get any priority moves. So let's see whether or not he can take a... Because we're back to neutral attack. Let's see whether he can take a reversal or not. I reckon it can. I reckon it can, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh, he cannot take a the reversal, even after an Intimidate. I know we're still neutral attack, but, you know, he's still pretty powerful move reversal is at mat 1 HP. All right, in comes a Fletchinder once again. It's lost its Gale Wings priority, even though it doesn't have it, it has for Flame Body. Let's see a reversal or KO and Eviolite Fletchinder. Let's see if it will. It does. Nicely done by Blaziken. So this is a, you know, decent little Blaziken game. We've got an interesting game. GG, though, Dr. Banana, man, that was a fun one. And um, that Braviary is always a big threat, but unfortunately you didn't get to pull it off as well as you would have liked to. But GG anyway. <laughs> Solid game, not gonna lie. Blaziken definitely popped off, and I was not expecting that Flinchinder. Like, what? <laughs> anyway, our final battle is against Mamba from the Battle Hub Discord. And this one's an amazing game where Blaziken shines once again. Can we win, though? Only one way to find out. And the battle begins. Good luck out for Mamba. So they're gonna lead off with Step On Me, the Pink Urchin, as we lead off with our Ribombe. So it's not a bad lead. They probably go for like, I don't know, spikes or something like that, which is absolutely fine by me. I'm not too worried about that. Um, so what I might do is I might go to Iron Treads and go for an Earthquake. That could be good or a knockoff, even better. They have got a bit of a ground weakness other than the Drift Blim and the Miascarada. So we, Iron Treads is going to be important here as well. So I think I will go into Iron Treads now because it's unlikely they're going to go for a Skull. They probably expect us to go for a Sticky Web straight up, but um, you know. It is what it is. So let's go into Burnout real quick. The uh, Iron Treads. We float in the air of our Air Bloom, which is great. They're going to get the Quark Drive as well, which is even better, which is going to boost our speed. So we outspeed everything on the team right now. They go for a Spark, which is going to do absolutely nothing to Burnout. Um, and now we can just go for either an Earthquake or a Knockoff. I'm leaning towards the Stealth Rocks. I'm leaning towards the Knockoff. I think I'll go for the Knockoff, to be honest with you. We're going to withdraw the Pink Urchin. Hopefully we get a, um, a Drift Bloom switch here. That'd be nice. You'll float too. That's got to be the Drift Blim. That's a nice little Pennywise the Clown reference right there. And um, so they're going to go into this thing. It's going to get the Electric Seed. I'm assuming it's the Electric Seed anyway. Boosting its defenses, which means this knockoff ain't doing anything to it. And it's obviously an unburdened set, which is scary. So we've got to be real careful here. Um, what's my switch in? I'm probably going to go a Loma Mola. Um, they may go for a Thunderbolt predicting that. This thing can get Thunderbolts. Um, so I have to be very careful here. So we'll go into Palindrome like so. There we go. They go for a Hex, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. I think we can take in a. I think we can take one. So I'm going to go for a Flip Turn, just to get some uh, residual damage off and a uh, slow switch into it. That's what I need. So Thunderbolt comes through. We do take that like a champ. We do get paralyzed, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can be un not be fully paralyzed. Right, we got fully paralyzed. So that's unfortunate. Um, really unfortunate, but we can take one more. So I'm going to go for another flip turn and hope for the best. Go for an Amnesia, boosting their special defense, which is already kind of high to even higher levels. We go for a flip turn, it does nothing. So now it's gone from us wanting to hit this thing on the special side with something like our uh, Hisuian Braviary to wanting to hit this thing on the physical side, maybe with Dragonite, for example. So I'm going to go and if, are they going to be, are they going to be Willow? Are they going to be Willow? I think we're going to Dragonite 100% of the time here and we go for an Ice Spinner. I think we have to go Dragonite and we have to go Ice Spinner just to get some damage off on this thing. If they are Will-O-Wisp, which I'm hoping they aren't, but they probably are if the Hex, then we're kind of boned. They withdraw, so they haven't got Will-O-Wisp and they must just not want to go, you know, or they might not want to miss. They're going to go into the Iron Tusks, <laughs> the, the Iron Treads, um, which is fine. It's going to get a Quark Drive boost in its speed. But we're not bothered about that because we're going to Ice Spinner away the Electric Terrain anyway. So Ice Spinner comes through. It does a neat, nice, nice bit of damage. Uh, electricity does disappear from the field, which is great. And their Quark Drive is going to wear off, which is even better. So I do have the boots. I don't have weakness, uh, weakness policy. 
Um, I'm going to have to go into Palindrome here. They may go for a Vault Switch, but I think it's more likely to go for a Stealth Frox, if anything. So we'll go into Palindrome now, and we'll go for a nice slow flip turn. There we go. They go for an Iron Head, which is greater, even greater, because it's going to give them Rocky Helmet Chip, which is really nice. Um, so now we go for a flip turn, and that Drifloom's lost its unburden for good as well now, which is great. So they go for a Supercell Slam, which is going to do a lot of damage, but it's going to get them some recoil from the Rocky Helmet. And we go, ooh, we got fully paralyzed again. Are you kidding me right now? We could just go for a Skull to KO this thing. I'm going to go for a Skull to KO this thing, um, to be honest with you. And hopefully we can live this next Supercell Slam. They go for a Rapid Spin to get their speed boost, which is fine. They're banking on us getting fully paralyzed once again, probably. And um, which we aren't. We get a scold off, and that's going to nearly KO the Iron Tusk. And we get the burn, which is going to finish it off the next turn. So Iron Tusk goes down, like so, to the burn. And that's one less Pokemon to deal with. We need to get that Drifloom out of the way, though. That's what we need to do. And I reckon they go Meow Skirada here. Presto comes in. Who's Presto? Meow Skirada. Okay, okay, so we could still use this for the likes of the Iron Crown, for the likes of the Drift Limb. Um, we don't really have a switch in though, that's the problem. So I think I'm going to go for a flip turn, expecting a U-turn from this thing. They go for a flower trick though, that's definitely going to take out poor Alomola over here. So flower trick comes through. Plop, down goes Palindrome, which is a real shame. Um, but you know what, it's, it is what it is. So down goes the uh, Lomomola, which I can say now. And we now go into, mm, we, we could go into Blaze to scare this thing out with a Fire Punch. That's one option. I think I will go Blaziken just to scare it out. So we'll go Blaziken real quick. And we'll scare it out with a Fire Punch. Uh, fire Punch is a great move to go for here. I think, I think they're going to Iron Moth personally. I really think they're going to Iron Moth, and you know what? We can set up on Iron Moth. They go for a knockoff, knocking off our Lychee Berry, which is really unfortunate, but really ballsy on their part, as we go for that Fire Punch, which is going to take out the Miascarada. So was it worth it? I don't know. So we're going to have to rely on our base attack to do the job. Step on me comes in, which is going to be the Pink Urchin. Amazing job. Gets the Electric Surge up, which is terrifying. And now I'm leaning towards going for a uh, fire punch again. I think we can live a spark. I, I think we can definitely live a spark. So I'm going to go for a fire punch now. Just get some damage off on it. See what they're going to do. They go for a scold, which is going to do a lot of damage to us. But you know what? It's fine. So scold's going to come through. Now we go for a endure, expecting another scold. So we go for an endure. This way we're going to maximize our um, potential power they go for a toxic spikes interesting choice interesting choice for sure so speed boost is going to come through we can definitely take this thing out of a reversal right now right yeah let's go for a reversal we're, we're not at one hp but it'll still have enough power more power than fire punch had so let's go for the reversal now takes out the pink urchin which is amazing we are now faster than everything on the team. Even the Iron Moth after a boost isn't going to be able to KO us. All we've got to do is hope that they don't go for an Iron Moth Sludge Wave and get the poison. That's what we need to hope for. Mothbot 4.0 comes in. That's got to be the Iron Moth. Right? Gets the Quark Drive, which is fine. It's going to boost its speed. We still outspeed, though. Let's go for an Endure and hope they don't go for a Sludge Wave. Endure comes through. They might expect us to switch here. To be fair... They go for the Fiery Dance to get that special attack boost, which makes a lot of sense. Gets us down to 1 HP, though. And this is where we're going to show off the pure power of um, Blaziken. This is where we're going to show off the pure power of Blaziken. Why Blaziken does this job so much better. We're going to Terra Fighting. We're going to Reversal. That's what we're going to do. We're going to Terra Fighting. We're going to Reversal. They haven't terra yet. So we need to watch out for that. But we Terra anyway. There we go. Terrestrializing with a big giant fist on our head. And I'm really hoping this reversal KOs. I'm really hoping it does, because if it doesn't, it's very anticlimactic. It clearly KOs the Iron Moth. What an absolute legend. Blazer can come through for me. Why don't you? Yes, legendary, amazing Pokemon. Your float 2 comes in. That's the Drift Blim. Obviously, we can't do the same trick twice. 
What we can do, however, we, we, we could fire punch this thing. It's got no defensive boost. But you know what? That Just that feat of taking out the Iron Moth is enough for the video. That's enough for the video. An Iron Moth from full, by the way. Let's go for a fire punch and see how it plays out. I don't think it's going to KO. No, it's not going to KO. As they go for a Strength Sap. That's not good. So they're going to get back to full HP now. They get back to full HP, which isn't good. Um, they can just keep strength sapping, strapping, strength sapping, can't they? I'm going to go into Ribombe now. I still, you know, we can still use Blaziken. We can still use Blaziken um, for sure. We've got the Rapid Spinner if we need to um, in Iron Treads. I'm sure we don't need to do it, but I, I, it is a possibility. That's all I'm saying. So they go for a Thunderbolt. That's going to hurt my Ribombe a little bit in the Electric Terrain. Not too much, though. As there we go. Now, we 100% go for a Stun Spore here. They withdraw. Okay, so if we go for a Stun Spore on the Iron Crown, it's all over. Iron Will comes in. Bang in. Gets that Quark Drive, which is going to boost it into a Special Attacker. We go for a Stun Spore. We hit the Stun Spore, which is nice. Very nice, very nice. Now, I don't believe Skill Swap works on Paradox Mons. I'm pretty confident it doesn't work on Paradox Mons. The Electricity does disappear anyway, so they lose that Quark Drive, which is great. And now, we just go straight for... Hmm, we just go for a Moonblast and let this thing go down. So we go for a Moonblast, just get some damage up on it. Why not? As they go for that agility. Okay, so their agility set. Ah, that's not good. That ain't good. That is not good. So we need to switch out here. They are leftovers as well, so they're going to get some health back every single turn. We need to switch out into our Iron Treads. That's, that's the way we need to go. So we'll go into Iron Treads now. Iron Treads can definitely take a Tachyon Cutter, that's for sure. They probably go for a Calm Mind here, expecting us to go down to a, a Poison right there or switch out. We float in the air of our air balloon, which is great. They go for an agility once again to get their speed back up. So now they do outspeed a lot of our team. They do outspeed a lot of our team now, even with the paralysis. Which is a shame. But if we can get one rapid spin up, we should be alright. So we rapid spin to get rid of the toxic spikes so Blaze can come in if he wants to. They terrestrialize. What type are they going to terrestrialize into, though? Are they going to go fairy? Fairy makes sense. Stella. Oh, no. Terra Stella? That is not good. That is not good. They couldn't move because they were fully paralyzed. Amazing stuff. Let's go for a rapid spin and get some speed boost, which is not going to do anything to them because they're a steel type. But still, we get rid of the toxic spikes and all that. So now Blaze can, can come in and, and endure and get a speed boost and potentially go for a reversal strat. But it's just that Drift Bloom that we need to watch out for. So um, I'm going to go for the knockoff now. Knockoff comes through. We, we do our speed this time. It's going to do a lot of damage to them. Get rid of that leftovers, which is amazing. To be fair, Earthquake would have probably KO'd there. They couldn't move. because. Oh, dear. That's really unfortunate for him. So we go for another knockoff here just in case they go Drift Blim. Knockoff comes through. Takes out the Iron Crown. So Iron Will goes down. Double Paralyzed. That's really unfortunate. What was they going to go for to hit the Iron Treads, though? Did they have Focus Blast? Because they were Agility. And then I'm guessing Calm Mind. But hey ho. In comes the Drift Blim. So that was a bit, bit of BS for my opponent right there. But the, the Iron, I'm still happy about the Iron Moth. Um, so this thing can strength sap us to oblivion. I am going to go for a switch. I'm going to go into my Ribombe just to sack it off. So we'll switch into Ribombe to sack it off. And then we'll bring Braviary in and go for a psychic. And that should be GG. So Scarves comes in. Like so. They go for a Hex, which is definitely going to take out Ribombe from there. Down it goes. Now we go into Braviary. And Braviary should be able to finish this thing off with a psychic. So we're going to King. Like so. And uh, we'll just go straight for a Psyche. Like I say, there's no reason not to. Because the Strength Stat's not going to affect us. It's going to recover their health, but not as much as they would like. Psyche comes through. It's Sheer Force, Life Orb boosted. Let's see if it KOs. Nearly gets the job done as they go for a Thunderbolt, which is going to do about half. Yep, about half. And then we go for a Psyche once again to finish off the game. And just like that, it's GG. So GG, man, but that was a fun one. 
Unfortunate about the para hacks, but you know what? I don't care because the point of this video is that Blaze can O code an iron moth from full with reversal after it had its lychee berry knocked off. So we didn't even have the power from the lychee berry. You know? <laughs> GG. Yet another fantastic game. I love Blaziken. Such a cool Pokemon and so strong with that speed boost. Anyway, that's the lot. Thanks for watching today's video. It means a lot. Feel free to use the team using the rental code. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.